there's another one on the roof. Yeah! <laughs> what up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. Well, closing up the shop because it's time to leave the house. It's time to leave the house and it's time to head to the farm. All of Gerald's floaters. Holy smokes. And all the full bodies in action. Uh, lots of decoy work going on, y'all. Lots and lots of getting ready for the guide service. That's right. The guide service is firing up. We have booked up November and December. It's insane. All I have left is some January dates. That's all. If you guys want to book up, get a hold of me on Instagram. Shoot me a direct message. That is the best way to go about it. But today's video isn't about the guide service. It's not about the house. It's not about camping. It's not about fishing. It's about the new gun I received from Benelli. Oh, ho, ho. it's like a dream come true. It's like a gift just fell from the sky. You know what I mean? Oh, Benelli. Oh, yeah. So long story short, before we get to the farm, I want to give you guys a heads up of what's going on. First off, I was supposed to go on a snow goose hunting trip in South Dakota with Flatland Flyways with Federal. Y'all know that I am partnered up with Federal. They provide all the ammunition for the entire channel every single hunt. Long story short, they partnered up with Benelli. Benelli wanted to send me a gun and everybody else a gun to use on the hunt. Well, with all the sickness going on and everything, guess what? I'm sure you guys can guess. The trip got canceled. But Benelli stood behind the word. They're awesome. They're like, hey, we're still sending you the gun. If you want to throw it in some videos and use it, use it as much as you can. So I'm like, oh my goodness. I actually get a free, literally free SB3. That's a dream. That's a dream. I just got my dream house. Got my dream outfitter going. Now a free SB3. Oh my goodness. What's going on in my life? Well, we have made it to the farm. And boy, howdy. We've been having a lot of rain overnight in the past two nights. And before I came, old Jordan was like, Bob, you better wear your boots. You better wear your boots. Yeah, it's soupy out here. It's real soupy. But if you guys haven't subscribed to Jordan's channel, I don't know why you haven't. You ought to. Come on. But here we go, y'all. I have not even taken it out of the box yet. Literally picked it up today. We're going to unbox it. Uh, this hunt, this little farm hunt, we're going to run the stock choke. Hopefully it's got a full choke in there. We're going to slap it in. We're going to put the shot cam on. Like I said, I, before we even unbox this bad boy right here, again, I want to give a huge thank you to Benelli. Benelli sponsored this here video. Big shout out to Benelli. Uh, this is honestly a dream come true, a free Benelli shotgun. I mean, come on. I mean, what do you, I mean, uh, look. Yeah. I paid for mine. Yeah, he's got, so <laughs> Jordan has an SBE2. How long you had your gun? Uh, about three years. And it would be pretty tough to get you to switch. It, you'd have to impress me pretty hard to switch. Pretty hard. Speaking of that. I put a Kix High Flyer, uh, the choke that you guys recommended, on my other gun that I got. Uh, but Jordan, you have sworn by the Carlson Cremator. Uh huh. Uh huh. I've and used the her all the time. That yeah. They just love each other. It's a matched they, pair in heaven. They work so good. So you can only guess what I bought. Uh, we're gonna use the new choke on a pigeon hunt. We're gonna smash some pigeon. We're gonna be scouting. We need to find some pigeon. They're not grouped up hard yet, but yep. we're finding them. We're at least gonna find a small one, something. So, here we go. Well, here we are. Like I said, I just picked this bad boy up today. Oh, which way you open, buddy? This way. Oh, look at that slick little case, dude. It's like, oh, oh. Oh, my. Oh, boy, howdy. Boy, howdy. All right, we're gonna have to cut. We'll put this bad boy together real quick. Holy cow, look at this. Came with a bunch of different, came with this choke tool, choke removal tool. One system, two system. How sweet is that? Comes in this little case here. Check that out. Comes with your chokes. Boom. Uh, they thought of it here. They thought of it, boys. Extended choke, it comes with an extended choke. This is for steel shot. That's an improved cylinder. I don't wanna shoot an improved cylinder today. And then what actually comes in the barrel straight out of the gun is a still approved uh, extended modified. So today we're going to be running lead, obviously. So I'm going to throw in the non-extended full. So we're gonna slap the full choke in there. 
That's what we're shooting today though. Federal premium seven and a half shot. This is ounce and an eighth. Two and three quarter inch shells, baby. Here we go. Slapping her together here. Ooh, maybe. First time, first time. Oh! Okay, cut it. <laughs> okay. Woo! We're good, we're good. We're good, boys and gals. There we go. Where I was messing up, it just sounds... <laughs> I'm not good at that. It's my first time putting one together. I will be better at it next time, I promise. Uh, but you gotta figure it out. You gotta put the foregrip on the barrel and then slide it on as a double, double unit. So we're good to go, boys. We are ready to shoot some starlings. Uh, like I said, stock choke, straight out of the box, no oil. Um, and out here at the farm, you have to spray. If they're at 50, if they're at 40, you take your shot. So, this will just show you. Stock gun, stock choke. Boy, howdy, she feels good. Wow, oh my goodness. Dude, oh, I love it. I love it already. Are we ready? I suppose. Let's roll. Loading her up for the first time here. First shell in the gun. First shell in the bad boy. I'm a little jealous, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Well, you got old girl, man. Them oh, SB2s. Old faithful here. Them girls last forever. She, I put her way, I put her through way more than what she deserved. Right. And she still absolutely destroys whatever I asked her to. Yeah, she kicks, man. She's fun. Well, I still got the, uh, still got the plug in here. I left her in. Might as well, you know. There we are, at the farm. Woo, we got the shot cam on it. We are ready to go. Oh, and, and, brought some seeds, son. There you go. Spitting seeds on the farm, son. You got the dill, you want sprung dude. for this, the sour stuff. Mm -hmm. Dude, I love them dill pickle seeds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's straight up tortillas. I'll be darned. Look at this, look at this. It's pizza. Oh, it's pizza, yeah. So a lot of you know the farm. Uh, over yonder, they got a whole pile of chocolate that is a sugar additive for the cows. Look at this. Straight tortillas and pizza. What is that an additive for? Carbs. Carb additive. I have no idea. Yeah, I'm like, I'm relying on you here, Jordan. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Pull through. Oh, hi, girls. Hi, girls. You guys must have just gotten fed. Uh-huh. You girls chowing down, huh? It's all right, girl. It's all right. Ooh. No is that a big starling? Yeah. That was a giant. Wow. Well, we got some starlings over yonder, y'all. Uh, we did our first walk here amongst the cows and not much. It seems like they're hanging out in these trees, no? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Recently, they've been hanging up closer to the buildings, but they do traffic back and forth. Yep, yep. If y'all are new to the channel for some weird reason and you haven't seen any of the farm videos, uh, this is a dairy farm, strict dairy farm, and uh, starlings are everywhere. We are here to eradicate the starlings. They're extremely invasive, and you can shoot as many of, of them as you want. Any time of year, there's no season. Uh, so the farmer appreciates Jordan and I coming out. Jordan, this is actually basically like his family. So we come out here and we have fun and help him out. It's a lot of fun, too. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> Jordan's been doing some sniping out here. You should check out his channel. I don't know, but I'm enjoying holding this gun. <laughs> I do know that so far. It'll give you some confidence just holding it. Mm -hmm. It'll give you confidence, eh? Sometimes that's all you need to shoot better. <laughs> right, it is. That's it no joke. For me. Too bad these aren't starlings. Jordan and I are splitting up here. If we want to shoot something, we better. Oh, another reason why I need muck boots out here. Nothing but poop. Nothing but poop everywhere. All right, this is the fly line, y'all, right here. Jordan's gonna go up and around. I'm gonna hang out back here. Definitely not a starling right there. Glad I uh, wore these bad boys. Oof, that would have been horrible. Some nasty, nasty, nasty stuff. Just ready. I am ready for the first shot here. I wanna see how she feels. I think I'm gonna move this way. Seems like they wanna fly out this way. There's one right here. Here's some starlings right here. Oh. Oh, 
I missed him. Oh, here we go. Here, well, Jordan shot, so I shot. <laughs> this one. Where you at, buddy? Right here. Nice, he's dead. Ha <laughs> ha, he landed on the roof. I got one on the roof. A starling. What? Uh, there's another one on the roof. Holy cow. Two of them on the roof. That's a sparrow. Missed him. Oh, we got two birds down, boys. Two birds. Here's a pigeon. Those were high shots with this stock full choke. Holy smokes. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. That is two birds down. Here's a pigeon floating around right here. Oh, man, that gun feels good. That gun feels good. Oh, I'm not even lying. Two birds down. Woo! If you like the uh, if you like the video, you know what to do. Smash the thumbs up button. I hope we got a shot cam with that. I uh, missed hitting it, starting the camera, but hopefully we got it. Here's this pigeon circling back around. If it gives me a high shot, I'll take it. Yep. Here it is. Here we go. High shot. Oh, three shots and missing. That was a high one. Real high. Load up, Bob. Load up. Load up. <laughs> well, I got two birds down. I got two starlings down. And they are, in fact, on top of this roof. Both of them. Missed on my pigeon. I have shot a bunch. And I'll tell you what. I will tell you what. That this Benelli feels amazing. It is a beauty. Thank you, Benelli, for sending this. I appreciate it so much. It's just seen us another starling flying right here. Oh, man. I'm in love with this gun. Uh-oh. Jordan shooting. Might scare something our way. Anything? Nothing. Oh, right here. Oh. Oh. Swing and miss is everywhere. I told you, I'm, I'm going to spray and pray today. I'm going to spray and pray. Man, that was three starlings that went, uh, two, man, that was two starlings that went right here. One thing, guys, just like hunting in the field, make sure to pick up your empties. Just because we're on the farm doesn't mean we don't pick them up. Pick up all your empties. Uh, there's another one. I've been spraying and praying out here. Holy smokes, Bob. It's another one. There's another one. Oh my goodness. How many times have I shot already? I've taken some long shots, which it is what it is. I told you all I was going to spray. I want to shoot this gun a bunch today, but still two birds down. Hopefully we can get a pigeon or something. I'm going to have to find a way on top of that roof right there, the white one, to try to retrieve my two starlings. Just took another shot. I think I missed it. I don't think I had the camera going, but uh, this evenings, that's where it's at on these farm hunts because all the starlings all the sparrows are coming back to roost and they're coming back to get them a drink and a bite of the cattle feed the cattle feed they don't only eat it but they poop all in it that's why the farmers really don't like them they poop in it that's not healthy for the for the cows you know what i'm saying this is a really good little hiding spot right behind this feeder right behind this little grain hauler here feeder it is nice gets me in the shadow Birds really don't see me sitting here. There's a starling. Oh.
three species here primarily that we can shoot. First and foremost is a starling. The starling is the biggest problem here at the farm. Like I said, it eats, it poops in the food. Uh, the second one, pigeons. You're going to shoot maybe one or two pigeons every time we come. Sometimes you don't, but for the most part, one to four to five pigeons are always hanging out. New ones are always coming and going from the dairy farm. And the third species is the house sparrow. The house sparrow is, is also invasive. You can also shoot as many of them as you want per day. There's no season on them as well. So three species of birds. The fourth would be the collared dove. The collared dove as well. Uh, no season on it, open year round. But to shoot a Eurasian collared dove, it's kind of hit and miss. It's actually extremely hit and miss. Sometimes you see them, sometimes you don't. There's definitely not been a lot of days that we have shot a collard out here. So, three species, but four, you know. We are, we're down in the, uh, it's kind of the heart of the whole dairy, right in the middle. This tree is where starlings love to gather. That's where I've been shooting them. They've been coming from wherever they've been feeding, way out yonder, coming back to these trees. There's one right there. Old girls. See, this is what I'm talking about. Oh, it's okay. Don't be getting scared, girls. He just fed. They're munching down. And if we weren't here, then... Oh, oh, you threw it right at me. Is that your bird there? Nope, that's your first one. That's my first one. What'd it do? Bounce off this roof and land oh. down here? <laughs> I still got one more up there. He wasn't dead dead, but... Oh, really? I, I got it for you. That was my first one. Yeah. I got another one that's... Can yeah. we get up there? Uh, not really. Not really? I mean, I could. That one's definitely... It's just difficult. <laughs> right. Whoever has never seen a starling, there he is. They're pretty little birds. They got extremely pointy beaks, and they're mean. They're dirty. They're dirty. They they're poop on everything. They're poop horrible. on everything. They're, they're mean, though. They are mean. They'll kill other birds. They'll drive birds out of their nests. Yep. They'll rob nests. The whole nine. They're like a crow, but way smaller. Smoke. Oh, he's dead. Good about that. In the poop pond. We shot at the that. same time. I took two stabs. You took one. I'm going to give like, it I'm to you. I'm just going to wait, wait, wait. <laughs> You're going to die. Yeah, I got a little slick Rick with it. I'm telling you, me and the gun today, we're just having fun right now. Full empties me. I was down. just telling everybody how they got to pick up their shells, whether they're at a farm or in the field. It's good practice, and when you show that you respect the property right. that you're on, believe me, farmers talk. Farmers oh, yeah. talk a lot. Oh, yeah. Darn right. Look how many times we've hunted out here. Now it's because you, but if we were just complete jack you know what, we wouldn't be coming yeah. back. If there was, you know, four cases of empties laying everywhere, I guarantee you, like, yeah, I appreciate you guys keeping the starlings away, but uh, not worth it. Right. Respect your landowners, respect your farmers. It doesn't matter if you're hunting a farm, doesn't matter if you're hunting geese on someone's field, pond, whatever. Respect them. Pick up your stuff, make it look better than when you arrived. Oh, Bobby guy. How did I miss that, dude? I was all wound up, man. I was just all wound up. Oh. Oh, you got him. Nice shot, dude. Jordan on the board. Yeah, yeah. Well, I got two birds down. He has one. Now that's three down. We got one on the roof. Two in the bag, one on the roof. Eh, I was doubtful on that one. I was doubtful. Well, just down to high one. He landed in the pond behind me. That is uh, three, three birds down from me. Uh, I got one in the pond, which we can't recover, like I said earlier. We got one on the roof and one in the bag. Jordan's on the board with one. 
going well it's picking up as that sun goes down these birds like i said they come back to roost at the farm well we're all done here back at the truck i shot one two three four five six seven eight nine ten way more than huh, we're only killing three birds ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 16, 17 17 shells for bob is what i shot today three birds now i will tell you that i was taking pokes we got along today uh, to, to shoot three starlings here at the dairy, Jordan, wouldn't you say, I mean, that, that's pretty good. New uh, gun, first time out. New gun, first time out, and there isn't an abundance of starlings present right now. I mean, honestly, I got to, uh, again, 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 big shout out to Benelli uh, for coming through and hooking me up with this. Uh, S Super Black Eagle 3, SB3, however you want to call it, she's a beaut, and... She fits like a glove. I absolutely love this. Thank you, Benelli, so much. If you guys want to pick up an SB3 or check them out, I will link them down in the description below. You know the deal, y'all. Uh, but I think I found my new beauty. But like I said today, we ran the stock full choke. And like I said before, we already got a new choke on the way. Uh, this stock full choke, it is a lead only choke. Uh, you might be able to run tungsten through it, but definitely not steel. Just know that if you buy a new gun, know what you're running through them stock chokes. Not all of them will just take anything. You know what I mean? But we gotta have a uh, we gotta have a pigeon hunt coming their way. I really, really want to do one bad. It's been way too long. It has been. And now with us both sporting SB twos and threes. Ho ho ho! So when the new choke comes in. Be expecting the pigeon hunt. Uh, we, we're ready to get after him, y'all. <laughs> but thank you, Jordan, for helping me film again today. No problem. You're always helpful, Dark. Light. <laughs> hey, thanks, Light. And thanks to Jordan for always supplying the farm hunts. The dairy farm, it always provides. It's always fun. We're out here in t-shirts today. Jordan was like, dude, just, just get here. It's a beautiful day. Thanks for letting a brother know. Anytime. But if you guys haven't subscribed, Jordan and I, we're going to get out on the farm more. We got some sparrow hunts coming y'all's way. I have to pull out the cow blind. Y'all have been wanting that. And we got some other tricks up our sleeve. Like I said, I got another new toy I have to show y'all. But turn on that little notification bell on there because it will notify you when I upload. A little notification will come on your mobile device and it'll be like, oh, my boy Bob got a new video out. Big shout out to my notification squad. Y'all are awesome. But until next time. I've been getting laid back, baby, you should know that I don't need your criticism, pessimism I've been keeping it on the DL Got a girl that keeps